So in this video we're going to go over how to convert from a polar coordinate system back into a rectangular system or from polar form into rectangular form. And the tools that we have are the tools that we uh, learned in trigonometry. So if we have a polar coordinate system and we impose a rectangular or XY coordinate system over top of it so that this point either has representation R theta or XY. <clears throat> what did we learn in trigonometry? We learned in trigonometry that the X coordinate could be found by doing the radius and the length of the directed line segment is a radius uh, was just the radius times the cosine of theta where theta is the angle made with respect to the positive x-axis. So if we impose the coordinate systems over top of each other, the radial axis is going to correspond to the positive x-axis. And we know that the y-coordinate from trigonometry corresponded to r times the sine of theta. So these were these were things that were proved or derived in trigonometry. So we really don't need to rehash them. We just need to recall that this is something we've already learned so we can take advantage of that. If we from this point drop the perpendicular to the radial axis which is also the positive x-axis so that we have a right triangle we know that the length of the base of this right triangle is x and we know that the height of this right triangle is y the directed we could even say the directed length because x and y may be positive or, or negative so it's a directed length but the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem would tell us that if we took x squared plus y squared if we're, if we're even more careful let's just let's just be super careful let's say that these were uh, were negative because we were in another quadrant if if any of these were negative we could just say the length is the absolute value so uh, it's a you know it's a directed length but the idea is that if you plugged in the absolute value into the Pythagorean theorem and said hey this the base of this triangle squared plus the height of this triangle squared is going to equal the square of the hypotenuse but the hypotenuse we've assigned it uh, the name r well if you square a negative you don't need the absolute value sign on there you're still going to get a positive result either way so this is just right here applying the Pythagorean theorem this that's all that relationship is and then in trigonometry for the trigonometry of the coordinate plane, the tangent of theta is defined to be y over x. So this is the definition of the tangent of theta in the coordinate plane. So these are just, like I said, all things that were hashed out in trigonometry. And then we can take advantage of those relationships that we hashed out in trigonometry to convert from polar form back into rectangular form. So here I have a point given to me in polar form. So the radius is the square root of three and the angle theta is pi over six. So we know that an xy coordinate, if we impose the xy coordinate system over top of the uh, polar coordinate system, we know that it's gonna be r times cosine theta and it's gonna be r times sine of theta to convert back into rectangular coordinate system from polar coordinates and it's just a matter of plugging the pieces in the radius is the square root of three and we have the cosine of the angle which is pi over six comma the radius is the square root of three the angle is just pi over six and then we want to recognize here that pi over six is a special angle so we know the exact value of the cosine of pi over six. The cosine of pi over six is the square root of three over two. And here we get the square root of three times the sine of pi over six is a half. And this is going to give us uh, root three times root three is three halves comma. And here we have the y coordinate is square root of three over two. So there we've converted from polar into rectangular uh, coordinates. Here I have a radius of two and an angle of five radians. I know it's five radians and not degrees. Remember if uh, radians is a unitless number. So if you see just an angle with no degree measure on it, it is 
a radian measure if if you want to plug degrees in like if you wanted to do the cosine of 45 degrees and you don't put the degree symbol on the 45 it's actually incorrect because this would indicate that it's 45 radians so here because I see there's no degree symbol I know I have a radian measure so my XY coordinates are just going to be the radius times the cosine of the angle 5 radians comma and then the radius 2 times the sine of 5 radians and because 5 isn't a special angle this is the exact coordinate I could plug this into a calculator and get a, an approximation if I needed to for some reason but in general I would just leave the exact uh, set of coordinates